Good evening. Mm -hmm. I was going to play this like a week ago, but it didn't come out. <laughs> and then it did. Yes. I hope the music is alright. This game has no volume control. And it's taken me ages to get this right. Is it too loud? It might be too loud. <laughs> I can't tell. Ah. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit and pray. Oh well. Here we go. A new game. Look at situations. Positive. Uh, snore. We'll go with snore. I don't want to go. Z -z 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 -z. Amanda says, "Dad." I say, z -z -z. "Dad, wake up." Uh, damn, this is not voice acted already. I have to do all the voices. I am sorry, everyone. I shall pretend to be dead. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Sounds fair. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Ah. Now she made an R ah noise. I'm finally opening my eyes <laughs> in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. <laughs> spooning a moving box. Yeah, sounds like my life. Morning, Amanda Panda. Ugh. Dad, breath, go brush your teeth. I already brushed my teeth. Do what you love and the money will come. Build mm. that dad. Oh, yes. I get to spend two hours in a character constructor. I like this already. What do you want to be? What have we got here? We got Bod. Athletic Tank Bod. Thick Tank Bod. Slim Tank Bod. I don't want to know what that means. Binder. Is this an American thing? Slim Binder Bod. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I'll just go for the absolute opposite of what I read in real life. That's a lie. Okay. Oh, we get to choose skin tone too. We can go anywhere between there and there and that other extreme. That's an interesting colour. Yeah. Yeah. They all look a bit sick on my monitor. Mm, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Default hair tick. Should we go for the twink? <laughs> Heads. Diamond head. I didn't know that was a thing. Heart head. Oval. Round. Square head. Triangle. What's the difference between triangle and diamond? Just the cheekbones. Okay, fair enough. Chin head. <laughs> Sounds like an insult. Eh, hey, chin head! Let's stick with that shadow. Yeah, why not? Hair. Yes, please. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. This screams no. This screams. Oh dear. I mean, sorry, this one. This screams, oh dear. That's natural hair. Lies. <laughs> Space warrior hair. It's over 9,000. Um, 90s hip hop hair, but specifically blonde. 
I don't know. Cesar? We'll just go for Scruffy. Yeah, Scruffy. Oh, you can change the colour. I don't have to be blonde. Scruffy Redhead. But his eyebrows are still blonde. What's that all about? I don't know. What's this one? Locks. Oh no, we already did the hair. We're looking for colour. Can be green. Attention seeker. There's no attention seeker purple though. There's brown. Blanc. Grey. Yeah, that's almost purple. And I kind of like the idea of being a ginger. How ginger can I be? Oh, extreme ginger. Yeah, I'll go with that one. We like. I love. Tin tin eyes. <laughs> Big shoju eyes. Uh huh. Uh, droopy. Eggy. Heart size. That's just a bit. Not red. Oh, you can change the colour! Boing. Now it's heart size. Hooded. Interesting. Narrow. Cat. Oh, snake eyes. Slip. Hell. Many eyes. Space for our eyes to go with the tin tin eyes. That's where it was to start with. I don't know. Um, None of these say anything to me. They're not talking to me. We'll go with that one. He looks a bit upset. Blue eyes. Deep blue eyes. Black eyes. Green eyes. Hmm. What a... Yeah, well, it doesn't seem to make any difference. Nuzzers. Mirren. <laughs> Button nerve. Roman nerve. Rumpole nose. Greek. Hawk. Snub. And wide. Whatever. Mouths. Cheese mouth. That really brings that look together. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Eh, eh. Hamburger mouth. <laughs> Kitty mouth. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, uh. Oh yeah, salty. Whatever. Okay. Oh, you can change the colour of the uh, eyebrows. Think the goodness. Or... Bushy? Danny. Who's Danny? One of the grand grumps. Soft brows. That kind of works. Angry. Everything looks angry. Oh yeah. We'll go with that. It's uh, something with the eyes though. That looks a bit like how I feel right now. Face yell here. Now I already did a bit of a Five o'clock shadow there, so we can add. Oh yeah, oh yeah, beard. Need more beard. That is not enough beard. Big ginger beardy. Alrighty. Stupid. Very stupid. Intelligent. Super intelligent. Kind of drugged. Matches the hair. Yeah, it's popular on television. Glasses. Oh, yeah. That looks about right. Yep. That looks exactly like me. Piercings? Hmm. Bridge. Where am I even looking? Uh, there it is. You can't see it for the glasses. Hang on, let's take the glasses off. Now you can see it. Uh -huh. Eyebrows. Ears. Nose stud. Snake bites. It sort of gets lost in the beard but doesn't. That's interesting. And a stud. Just one stud? Sure. Gold. 
Blackstead. Whetstead. Now, none. Let's go back to the glasses. Got those? Yes. Clothing. Optional. Underoos. Overoos. That's pretty cage. I like that. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Oh, yeah. Danny. <laughs> Hmm, uh, nips. okay. Badass. Yeah, he looks like a badass. Badass. Comme de Pere. Okay. Sagan is number one. A suit. Very nice. Kitten suit, very nicer. It's just pretty, pre yeah, pretty good. That's a little bit too party. That matches the beard. Tommy Bananas. I think I've been in a Tommy Bananas. Is that a thing? Pretty sure that's a shop. Kittens. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm loving the kittens. I like the kittens. Looking good, Daddy. Name that dad. Oh! That's a thing I didn't expect to be, have to do. This guy looks like a Larry. Definitely a Larry. But what's his last name? Larry last name? I can't say Laffo because that's taken. Larry Nook. Larry McLaw. Lars. Oh. Wait. I'm starting to like Lars. 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 Hello. Be that dad. I shall be that dad. Don't eat too close to your bedtime. Ah. Good eye. Did you fall asleep packing? I did. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like you did a pretty good job. But every box is sealed except for one. Very good. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it, she says. Looking at the box, I see a bunch of old photos in little photo albums. <laughs> Time, I think I've seen this in the advert. Time to embarrass the daughter. Looking through it. Coolest baby I've ever seen. Anyway, your father, anyway, uh, oh, I see. Ah, oh, well, let's go the whole hog. And the way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. You must be adopted. I'm seeing it. Whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. <laughs> nice. I can't do voices of girls. I pretty much can't do voices of boys either. The only voice I have is this voice. Maybe. Halloween! When you were maybe four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess, dragon. Mm. Oh, maybe it should be dragon princess. Why do I remember crying in the dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and you realized you're afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right, yep, definitely repressed that memory. This is you and your horse phase. <laughs> I'm seeing a couple of horses and yeah, that's definitely a phase. Mm. It's not a phase, Dad! I'm still a horse person. I believe you named that plush horse. Sir Horsington the Brave. I now want to go back and rename my dad. Damn. Mm -hmm. I don't think that was his. No, lunges the photo, but quickly snatch your way and hold it above the head with superior dead arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. There. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in Scarband. <laughs> Excellent. Ouch. The what? The what? The, 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 the scamunist manifesto had a chance back in the day. 
I look off into the distance and reminisce about the red horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Ugh. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I'll never stop mixing those two up. Aww. Emma's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it... Give it like a little bit of effort. Reading is difficult. Alright, Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at a police station, pooped her pants during... Uh, I like this one. Later floor, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Who hasn't done that? You haven't done that? Why? Well, Dad, that was you. <laughs> Alright, I was a whole child. I was six when you did it. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Causation. Uh. I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Mm. Eh. Anyway, I'm going to show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. This first photograph award you ever won. No, the, the first. Ah. Reading is difficult. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFridays. Yes! And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blasts. This is somewhere I would not like to eat. I think you mean food poisoning with a Z. Or Z, as they might say over there. Aww. Bah. It's just lots of moaning in this game. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. Huh. I guess it makes it easier to regionalise. They don't have to re-record all the voices. Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down to the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. I love you, Amanda. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. While I blow my nose. Oh, sorry. Was I breaking a mood? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I finally decide to break the silence by blowing my nose. This is the day you were born. This is the day we adopted you. I'm, I'm just going to go with that. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course I was freaking out. A little old lady... This is too many words! A little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. But your father. Oh man. So, you're my dad and his father? Is that how it works? He holds my name and looks directly into the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen, and then says, I'm leaving you. It's okay. It's all going to be okay. But then it wasn't. Oh dear. What's the sad story? He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. How long's too long? Is this too long? How about now? That seems like too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Huh. Come on, Pops! Am I Pops now? We've got to finish packing. The moving band won't wait forever. What's the story? Did he pass away? Did he leave us? What's hmm. the deal? What's the deal? Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. Which one's the old house? Is it this one? Or is this the one? This is another house. This is a cafe of coffee sorts and scribbly writings. None of these things look a house. So many memories. Like, you know, when I spoon that packing box and that's about all I remember. Hard to believe. Your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm. Hey, remember when I shat heard the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Oh. Remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? <laughs> pretending? You were a very imaginative child. Yeah. Remember when I broke the back? Yeah, we get it. You break stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. 
Memories to make and stuff to break. Mm. You ready? Not quite. Maybe now. I sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will be forever. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little to leave it behind. I'm ready. <laughs> the moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into vision to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. Is that going to happen up here? Okay, it's not that good again. So, so what? Mm. So sell me on our cool new pad. <clears throat> Do my best cheesy announcer. I was already doing that. Russell, the beautiful scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. What's in there? Two car garage? Not only are there three, there are bedrooms for you and your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Is that how announcers talk? I have no clue. What a deal. I mean, if, I, if sleep weren't for the week. What do you mean? Sleep's good. I like sleep. You sleep more than anyone I know. He doesn't know me. That's meta because I'm playing him in this game and me is... Yeah, never mind. Hmm... I admit my faults, Pops. Keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Oh, we're downsizing. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah. I think it's great. We won't be closer to a lot of... I'm confused. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know... Amanda, you know we're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. We are parallel parked at the moment, aren't we? I think somebody needs to do three-point turn on their attitude. Oh. I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> have you met the neighbours yet? Not yet. But the neighbourhood seems pretty quiet. Quiet ones are the worst. Hmm? So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn. I don't think we have a lawn. You're the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. <laughs> yeah, you're a real estate agent. <laughs> Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <sighs> I'm just going to ignore that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but I won't forget it. I will. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? First we need to forget to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. Still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. This is mm -hmm. just tedious. Just, you know, this is like life. I'm, I'm playing games for escapism. Pop, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Sure. We'll get some work done and check the area out. It's got a lawn. For sale. There she is again. I know her from somewhere. Hiya! It shook again. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice warm sweet pea. I've got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Oh. Man, all that karate chopping tucking me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. Need to unpack. I need some coffee. You can see all the dogs in the park neither. Dogs. You know what? I think for moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG and rocket way up. Sounds fair. I have a kitten shirt. Just wanted to point that out. I mean, you do that all. Yes. It's a dog. There's a dog. There's Aww. a dog. False alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. 
you want to see a dog, real dog so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. When lifting weights, use proper... Oh, it's too quick. Damn my SSD. Hang on a sec. I need a drink. I have drunk. Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighbourhood. It looks very neighbourhoody. Can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street. The flowers are in bloom. <laughs> and if I tell, I'm allergic. Of nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I'm not allergic to barbecue though. Where's this barbecue? This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. Yeah, quiet ones, nice ones. Dangerous. Do not trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that babe in the stroll over there? Government operative. That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking of the word different. We're onto you, baby. Huh. Yeah. We walk for a while and eventually end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's, it's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench, so we start to make our way over to it. To when... Heads up. Ow. Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. My beautiful face. Dog goes wolf. A corgi! Corgi! The neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck. Bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Hello, did you throw this thing at my head? I like your necktie. Rough. He runs around in circles and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Impart wisdom upon me, tiny dog. Woof woof. Very wise. How did you know? Do you have tomorrow's laundry? How did you know? Borf. Borf. My god, this dog knows more than he lets on. You definitely could have caught that. Who's saying question marks? Oh, question marks mean we don't know who's saying question marks. This guy. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt. Jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. Hey. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Yeah, very funny. You're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. The dog does it that way. I want to answer the dog does it that way. I'll catch you with my teeth next time. Never again. Not, never, never, never again. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Whoa. I'm Brian, by the way. I saw love hearts. What's this do? Some sort of fast forward button? Hey Brian. I'm Lars and this is my daughter, Amanda. There's a joke about that. She's sitting on the ground rubbing the dog's tummy. <laughs> ah. Your dog's cute. Old Maxwell. Maxwell. Hey Maxwell. Sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. I was going to try to do voices for Brian, but I realised I'd forget it, and I did. <laughs> Brian just is over to Grassy Knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Hi. Daisy. Hey, Daisy. She's reading The Brothers Karamazov. Karamazov. It's not difficult to say. I mean, why can't I say it? Her teacher tells me... Karamazov, that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. I can comprehend it, I just can't read it. <laughs> How old is she? Hey. Ten! She's a precious little youngster. She's ten. She's ten. We never found out how old oh, yeah, she She's like 17 or 18, right? Right, right, huh? right, 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 right. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my childhood's accomplishments. Searching memory. Searching memory. Uh, it's happening. <laughs> oh dear. We seem to have a... It's a battle. <laughs> Can I just click? I don't want to have to do things. Daisy. Mara's my girl. Amanda, get in there. 
Okay, okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> flee, flee. I'm just gonna brag. Right here just recently won a local photography award. That was a long time ago. Wow, congratulations. That was 10. What else have we got? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> What's that one do? Can't switch daughters. Mad was your only daughter. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, do we have an item? Grade card, child's art, band aid, spelling bee photo, art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. <laughs> we get really digging here. Digging, digging. It isn't very impressive, but Megan genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Yeah, take that, Brian. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. Well, that's just like an own goal, that one. Shall we? Come on. She's the president, too, of course. Dang. My high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Go for another brag. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. <laughs> it's extra powerful. Brian loses 20. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize, a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Extra powerful. Dang it. Still ahead, but not by much. Flee! Flee! That's my instincts. We'll go for a brag again. All oh, honors glasses! Oh, that's a big one. Oh. oh really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Yeah. 20. Oh man. Uh, let's go for another spelling bee. <laughs> Great card. <laughs> Why have I got that in my back pocket? That's ridiculous. Dad. Awesome grades. 25. Yes. Yes. You really carry that around everywhere. <laughs> Apparently I do. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of weird I lose five. Oh man. I did... Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? And da -da. And it wasn't even to me. Amanda was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> oh, we got him on the ropes. We got him on the ropes here. Let's go for another brag. Oh, then we're starting to run out of brags. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. That's gonna, that's gonna kill. Yes, we're done. Beep, 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 Come on. I got him on the ropes, and that's what I said before. You seem to have such a good relationship. It warms my heart. <laughs> good losers. Oh, man. I feel like I won the game now. I can give up. So, I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around there? Oh. <laughs> Smarter than the average corgi. We live in the cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. There's a coffee shop. That's where we live too. Small world. A ranch style house on the corner. Does that mean it's made out of sauce? <laughs> Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Nope. Ah. Oh. Oh, off you go then. See you later. Yeah, bye. I like your corgi. <laughs> Ellipse. Do you get the feeling he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. And succeeding. A 
I can't believe the kid's only 10. Was I even, what was I even doing at her age? Uh, I think you had a thing for horses. Comparative horse studies. Is that a thing? You could minor in horse creative. Oh dear, oh dear. Aww. Horsington! Sir Horsington! <laughs> Walking around the park a bit more. Let's go to the coffee shop. That sounds interesting. Useless all day. I am useless all day. Excuse me. It's the middle of winter here. It's horrible. Let's do it. Scene change. Do what you love and this we had that one and it's I don't even sure it's true. Just do what you love anyway. Maybe your money won't come. But you'll be happy. Poor but happy. We walk to the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Enjoying the music? Is it too loud? God, I hope it's not too loud. I really can't tell. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? I think I read that. At least when I'm home with some random guys I'm going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting on my table but he's very much within my personal zone. Aww. He's got some social issues or something. And what's the etiquette when you're having a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go sit it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? <laughs> or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with the shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight? What do you mean? You don't throw away mugs. Dad. Ah, that was almost audible. Are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! Oh. Hmm. Oh. It's incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records lie the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Take it all in. There's a guy standing here. Hey. Welcome to the coffee shop. His name's Matt. Sorry, the coffee spoon. How's it going? What's with the name? Wasn't it just Matt? Hey. It's uh, kind of dumb. What's wrong with Matt? Open the door, Matt. Uh -huh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like. And I thought it was a good idea at the time. Maybe he's talking about coffee spoon. Because, like, asking about a person's name would be a little bit rude. Yes, he's definitely talking about the coffee spoon. All right. It's not a bad name. Sort of. Uh, talking, talking. And then there's not talking. And then he's not talking. And then she's not talking. So what will it be? Overwhelmed. There's breakfast. There's lunch. We can have a scribble for 350, really curly scribble for 625. Cold non. I'll have a coffee. Godspeed, you black coffee. That's not how you spell Godspeed. Ice Tegan and Sarah. Chai Antwerp. I like the Antwerp. I say, any, hmm, I say, I don't get it, it's a pun, Do you know? I knew that, I knew that, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, I'm hip, the answer is neither of those things, oh. catchy as it is disturbing, <laughs> that's, that, yeah, that's about right, I'm doing the thing again, hey. talking, Ouch. coming right up, and for you, Macchiato DiMarco. Hey dude. Hey dude. That was actually English. Sort of. Come right up. Do you want it in a small, medium, or big smalls? <laughs> I'm leaving right now. Uh, 
medium. I don't want it in a... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> Is it biggie, small, big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? He was big. Matt sets to making her drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? She's still standing here, she's not sitting on one of the couches. Let the man make his puns, they're cool with brand bands, and you listen to anyway. I listen to those bands. Ha! Ha! Scar was cool once. Was it? This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Those two things are the opposite. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. Yeah, but he runs a coffee shop. You should totally become friends with Hum. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Come on. What do you say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside, and also don't go outside, and also don't talk to people. Huh. That's how it works. We're making progress. Matt! Matt's back with our drinks. And I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Too hot. Why do they make it so hot? We're in the new in the neighborhood. I am Amanda. This is Amanda. And this is my dead Lars. That's me. Oh, uh -huh. right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Everybody has daughters. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. We live right next door. I'm getting kicked. Ow. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. You know what? Let me get you guys... Oh, you guys' opinion or something. I thought it said onion. Let me get you guys an onion or something. Man goes into the back and comes out with an onion. It smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Hmm, banana bread. Name, you say. I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can get the full flavour profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavour sensations of... We need to give that banana bread a taste if you want us to free creative consume... I push the button too quick. I taught her well. I have trained her for this day. We have trained for this day. Uh, we didn't have to work for it. It was already coming. Chowing down. Hey. This is amazing. She goes, hey, a lot. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. That's... Mm. What should we call the banana bread, guys? Has to be a pun. Banana Bread Kennedys, yeah, that's a band reference. Grateful Banana Bread, that's also a band reference. Right said Banana Bread, that's a banana reference. Okay, it's a band reference. Right said Fred, Grateful Dead, Dead Kennedys. Oh well then. Like the punk band, he, he, he kind of liked that. I thought you said you only knew Dead Bread and puns. That is a Dead Band pun. <laughs> I'm a hard dad. What? Lies. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Hard dead? Banana bread Kennedy's. Strong decisions. That's art baby. Doesn't rhyme. Or hey. flow. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool once I said it I realised it just doesn't sound good coming out of my... Mm -hmm. Moving on. Hey. Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Hey. hey. See, it sounds good when you say it. Hello. There's a broody guy. The broody guy. It's always the broody guy. I hasty look away, hoping you didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our... Uh, 
it's not required. We finish our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Uh, that's not unpacking. There's a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? It really is. It's true. Not that I'm an adult or anything. I just, sometimes I adult. It's right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everybody's too polite to tell you. Now I reckon it's ahead of that. Probably. More ellipses. Do I smell bad? Oh my god. Arthur is asking Matt. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. First is the worst, second is the worst. They're too quick. Way too quick. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get some good work done. The washer dryer unit is both washing and drying at the same time. And we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. This is an interesting little bird thing here. Ooh. This is like other games where you gotta like pixel hunt. I miss the pixel hunting. First visitor already. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello says question mark again. Who is this question mark? Oh my. Handsome, clean-cut man stands in my boy. He's got a pink shirt. Brandishing a plate of cookies. He came in with cookies. I'm in love. Cookies. Hell. Oh. Wow. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I'm Wiles. That's what my name is. But he's like, you know, conventionally handsome, I suppose. Oh. I saw the movie man and I thought I'd bring over cookies, cookies. My daughter, Chris, they've got daughters. More daughters. Christy baked them. Hello. He's about to whisper. Oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Ha ha, ha Kids, right? Yeah. Cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Eh? Well, thanks for the cookies. See you later. <laughs> so, what you're saying is there's no more cookies. See you later. Uh. Come, she's gone. <laughs> That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. No, she's not. She just stole the cookies. I want cookies. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. True. Uh. Children in general are just tough. Uh, more than two. Uh, I have four kids. <laughs> yeah, what have you done? Oh, well. <laughs> I meant, oh. don't you worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Who oh, knew? No. This is the first neighbour I met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Is the mosses around? Of the mosses around. Didn't you see the name of the game, dude? There's no mosses. There's... There might be. Mister. And, uh... No. Not anymore. Yeah. He died. He died! Okay. Now we know. What's sadder? Leaving or dying? Pretty much amounts to the same thing. Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry for your loss. I, I, what do you say in those situations? I'm sorry for your loss just sounds so... something contrived. Yeah, well, it's fine. But now it's uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for 16 years, acutely aware of how awkward we have both made things. Ah. Awkward's good. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Who's Joseph? Who's Joseph? Have I forgotten his name already? I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second I hear a knock on the door. Opening I see Joseph standing there with a huge... Oh, he's doing the thing. 
It's not cute, Joseph. Oh. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph, and I am so cliche that I decided to turn around and open the door and close the door again and do the thing with the thing that I'm doing. He's going a barbecue though. Barbecue. Yeah. Oh. Sounds good. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is perfectly normal amount of children to have. Yeah. yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns around. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church. I knew there was something wrong with him. Youth ministers at church. Uh, don't I really consider myself a youth? <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but seat yourself. Whoa, he's winking. Pink shirt, youth minister. He's a worry. And with that, Joseph's gone. Just like that. Didn't even open or close the door. He seems nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. Where's the rest of the cookies, woman? That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd the cookies go? Oh. They're gone, I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? There's only one option. Joseph probably wants his plate back. Why is it an option if there's only one? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. I can only works in negative. If you don't bring the plate back, you get minus points. If you do bring the plate back, it's just zero. Because, you know, just you take the plate back. That's the thing. You just take the plate back. We're going to be the best neighbours in the whole cul-de-sac. We're going to kick all the other neighbours' butts. All of them. With kindness. Let's step outside. We're going to have a fight. Just stepping outside with my daughter, we're going to have a fight. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Hmm... I uh, hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. <laughs> children of the con. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. Do we wash the plate? I mean, that's the other thing. You, you take the plate back, but you have to wash the plate. Gotta wash the plate, kids. Oh, dear. Children of the corn, children of the corn. And then there's this one. He looks a bit disgruntled. Corn children. Hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to, uh, return. please don't explode our brains. He's definitely a closest kid, so they all look exactly like him. Christy. I guess that's this one. Huh? They were really good. Christian is this one. He sort of moved, so I'm guessing that's him. Christy. Christian. What could this one be? Chris. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. He's Chris. I was right. <laughs> Chris! Christian? No, Chrissy, Christian, Chris. Chris is short for Christian. Dude, why aren't you wearing a pink top? I chuckle nervously. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and back away slowly right there. Right, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay. Not sure what's going on with those kids. Carbon copy kids. 
Again, what's with the one option option things? I want some more. Hmm. You've been awake for what? Three hours? Uh, three hours too many. Get a job you want, just make sure it includes health insurance. I got through that one. Only just that. As we were walking home, I heard heavy footsteps come behind us. Lars, bro. 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 I am greeted by familiar face. He's not familiar to me. Wait, which face? This face or this face? I bet you this is one of his work colleagues. Craig? Hmm. Bro. Bro. Holy wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Where'd we meet Craig? Hmm. It's been too long. Good. We've, we've graduated from bro to dude. Yeah, wow. You look great. With a baby. Dude. Uh, yeah, I cleaned up my act. <laughs> really? Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> Amanda, this is my friend. Friend. Craig, we went to college together. We were room roommates. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello and hello, cute baby. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. Named after the Doctor Who character. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. <laughs> Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. I can't decide what he'd sound like. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers. The next, we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Oh. I was working out in California. And I just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Smashley. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. <laughs> Smashley. Oh. She actually still goes by Smashley. And uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Pass the dictionary. Copacetic. Twins! You have three kids? Hmm. Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg stand Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Keg stand Craig? Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. It was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Um, oh. Fine. It's a thing where you do a hind stand on the keg and then drink from the keg. <laughs> Just like the name implies. He was very good at it. Hmm. Uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought with her along for, you know, resistance training. <laughs> She's blowing bubbles. <laughs> I didn't notice. Pop. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January the 1st, when I promised myself I'm going to do another jog for the rest of the year, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. sounds fair enough. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should just join me sometime. I promised myself I wasn't going to do voices. Hey! Come on, it'll be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up, we could do brunch. A bro brunch. Like the good old days. Is that a euphemism? Bro brunch. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Hmm. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. See ya. Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of Marihara sauce for dinner. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, the drinks of the waters.
and then the opposite. Yes. He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing normal people do. It was unholy. Then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, I quote, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Technically, he's not wrong. It's cooked. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. That was... Oh, I didn't even see that one. It's so fast. <clears throat> there's, there's still empty boxes around. I thought you said the boxes were oh. gone. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff in these boxes. I guess she's intending to go to college. No! Don't say that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every other day. Maybe each week. When I need money. Obviously I'm a photography margin. Promise? Huh. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. Oh, you're fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yes. A dog. Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. <laughs> so what's going to take? Medium sized dog. Handkerchief around neck. Get to name it. Art school. Dog is a lot cheaper than collage. She left. Ha ha ha. A pile of envelopes slides through the mail. Speaking of collage. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's like my entire future. Not a big deal. Ah. Rips it open with her teeth. Huh? I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? The admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Mm. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that you are unable to offer admission to the young copy. Oh, no. That sucks, man. Ah, uh, sweetie. Oh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew you shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions, admissions officers are that. You're an amazing photographer. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just mm. saying that? I'm fine. Really? Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Or off of this. Oh. <laughs> Both Emma's. How will I cope? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool. He's cool! Look! Ginge, beard, glasses, kitten shirt. Cool. He's cool. <sighs> Ungrateful daughter. And I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight. So you'll have to get the new so you'll have the new place to yourself. What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Oh good, I got more than one option. Clubbing, ha. Huh. Union meeting, ha. Huh. I am secretly the mayor of this town. I have to perform my mayoral jokdash. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. <laughs> Monopoly guy. He was the mayor. No, he was uh, just a rich hmm. dude. He was not. Right. Mr. Moneybags. I'm just kidding. I actually have to go to bed. Go out and watch the 
game. <laughs> that sounds just a bit weak. <laughs> Which game? Damn! She, she's caught me in a blind oh. game on TV. Hmm. That's somewhere other than here. Ah, drugs and light arson with both Emmas. Yeah, white collar crime, eh? Okay, maybe money laundering at least. Yeah. I'm a street rat, pups. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Oh. Yeah, Dad. God, you're so painfully uncool. Just make a chill. Give her a pat on his head. Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Oh. Making fun of sports is played out. I don't know. Oh. I think it's got a few more miles. Alrighty then. I'm gonna do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Okay. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Yeah. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. How am I supposed to forget if I haven't been told? Mr. Vague. Mr. Vega. I have a vague election. Recollection. Totally remembered. Oh, 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 it's called masking tape for a reason. That one wasn't as good as the other ones. So we're going to a bar. We don't know where the bar is. Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, and I'm going to pick up. No, just let's just walk. Let's go. And the armor. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be... A gay bar. I mean, a bar. Jim and Kim. A big burned-out neon sign hangs above the dive bar. Oh, dive bar, my favourite. Jim and Kim's, huh? I'll do it. Small and dimly lit. Crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Kim or Jim or Jim or Kim or Jim Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. This is yeah, this is good. I like this. This is nice. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Ice cold beer. Mmm, beer. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I bet you they all say that. Neil. <laughs> ah. I awkwardly turn my attention to the, the game. Capitalised game. Which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead. How about them sports? Which is always a good thing. That team is certainly doing good with the sport it plays. The brightly coloured mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I certainly cheer on my favoured team, hoping that I didn't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. It's just like, just, you know, this whole sports thing is just dividing us up. It's terrible. Several people in the bar are wearing distinctive colours of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanour, they like me. The passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. Hey. It's a woman. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass. She sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Yeah, she aiming for... Hey, sailor. She's looking for a free drink, I bet. Oh, hello. Ah. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh no, I actually just moved you to this part of town today. I'm Lara. Ah. Are you watching the game? Yes, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, uh, they'll win the game with ease. Sailor. Sailor. I love that team. I also love the game. Oh, that game. Which game? The game. I love somebody who knows their way around balls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh, 
buy a gal a drink. I told you she was looking for a drink. They're always looking for drinks. Do not buy Mary a drink. Maybe some other time. Come on. Suit yourself, sailor. And she's getting angry that I won't buy a drink. Yeah, I may have met plenty of women like there in bars. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar treasures. They're just looking for free drinks. I happily watch the game. The game! Over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. Comfortable. After a particularly skilled player. This is all very nondescript. I love that. Scores a number of points the other team. For the other team! Not the other team. The other team are in the lead. I hear an affirmative grunt from another man. Another man at the bar. Go team. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey. Ah, oh, whiskey, eh? They're watching the game as well. Enjoying the game. I am now that we are winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. <laughs> rooting. He said rooting. <laughs> In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. This is why I don't like talking about sports. That's where you're wrong. Since it stands out, my team is beating yours. Ah, the conversation ends there. We both get silently rooting for our respect. He said rooting again. Game is close. They're playing their hardest. In the end, my team prevails. Go team. Yay. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. Cheers. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises in, in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. He's buying me a drink. Awesome. The name's Robert. Robert. Thanks, I'm Lars. Hey. hey! You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah, she did. What a slut. Mm. Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll still never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. It does say slimy. I like bars like this. This is nice. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this oh. place? No, that'll be Neil. Neil, yeah, hey Neil. I... Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. Hmm. You're a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. You know, beer and whiskey are the same thing. Oh. You like shots. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like them. I like shots. Thank you. What did you say thank you? Thank you. Ah. Here's to your health. Shots. That's not a shot. That's a goddamn whole glass of whiskey with ice. Whiskey burns going down. I tried my hardest not to look tough. Hey. I think this is what making friends is. Really? Is that how you make friends? This guy's out of my friend league, but I think I've played my cards right. We'll be pals in no time. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. Compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks. Oh, he's, he can always go for this. Tats. Tats. Yeah, tats. I like your tattoo. What does it mean? It's a reminder. What was with the black? Did you see the black? I wait for him to elaborate, but it seems like he's done talking. Oh dear. This guy is mysterious. He's not cool. He's just aloof. Come on, man. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Do my daughter kick me out? Running away from my problems? Trying to make friends? It will go with honesty. Not like forever. She's having a sleepover with her friends. Uh -huh. Family type, huh? Single dad. Hmm. hmm. He gets up. I be right back. Got a powder my nose. <laughs> Is that a see you later? 
Oh, you'll never see him again type of see you later. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you, says Neil. Interesting. I guess so. A gruff charm, eh? Oh, he came back. My God. He's grabbing his leather jacket. He's going home. You're heading my way. What does that mean? We're walking in the same direction. Hi. I live in the cul-de-sac, don't we all? Does everybody live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Oh. Great place to be. Good neighbours. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. Mm. I don't kiss until Lars. <laughs> so you've been kissing the neighbours? Oh. So are we doing this or what? Whoa, hang on. Wait, whoa. <laughs> we were just walking, man. Hey. <laughs> Do you want to come inside? Whoa. A wave of realisation rushes over me. I blush. Let's play hard to get. Lay it on smooth. Smile and nod. What does lay it on smooth mean? Is that like too forward? Smile and nod? That sounds really forward. I'll go the no. Better call it a night. We're playing hard to get. Well, maybe impossible to get. Head buzzing was whiskey. What does he mean? Are we going to do this or not? <laughs> I think Lars is a bit naive. Do what you love, but it's a bit... Oh, it was way too quick again. Text from an unknown number. Rise and shine. It's Craig. Still want to work out? What do you mean? We never said anything about working out, Craig. 6am. There's an am? There's a 6 in the am? I'm going back to sleep. No. Hey bud, still want to get your swole on. <laughs> I'm ready to tear up the... Maybe that's tear. Up the track, hit me up. Hmm, he really wants to exercise. <laughs> Catching up with Craig. Uh, if it were me, I'd go back to sleep, but it's not me. Lars is going to wake up and meet him in 20 minutes. More texts. Sure thing. Well, how, was I, how was I doing, Craig? That's just a text. I stretch. My brain's creak. Uh, i got to stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep for the blanket. <laughs> Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. Reluctantly brush teeth. Hmm. Throw on clothes. Gym clothes. The neighbourhood is quiet and serene. The early in the morning. Morning. Oh no. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. People go to gyms? I thought they were just places where you spent money and never returned. Anyway. Spot Craig standing out front, stretching, of course. He spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey bro, good morning. I've already forgotten the voice I assigned to Craig. It was like a stoner voice, wasn't it? I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have some coffee before I left. Mm. You're ready to kick some butt? Uh, <laughs> help. This is it. This is how I die. <laughs> uh, what does the black mean? Bro. No, oh, he's off with the bros again. We head into the gym. And I'm immediately intimidated. All these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Oh. High f he high fives and finger guns. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. <laughs> Anybody who finger guns is immediately out. Oh. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. Treadmills. Walking. I can walk. Walking is good. We can walk. So I know we are on treadmills. Nice. Nice. And those over there are ellipticals. Mm. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> hey. 
They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. Damn it. I watch as the dude in a Mexico muscle tea flexes a muscle I didn't know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. <laughs> what is that? Why is the guy doing that to himself? <laughs> That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Training to crush people's skulls with his thighs? Medieval torture device? Praying to some sort of pain god? Mm, I'll go with that one. It's like uh, a religious self-flagellation meant to atone for one's sins? Hmm. You're actually not far off from the truth. Hmm. I know, Craig is turning up the speed. I better do the same. No, 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 don't fall for the competition thing. How, uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? Hmm couple of years and what do you do when you're not dadding or working the buffing oh. I coach my twins softball team he has twins he had twins and a baby I thought it was just baby twins that still counts as both dadding and buffing mm -hmm. ah, I keep busy what do you do for fun I live my life as close to a Jimmy Buffett song as possible. I check out my hot pot. I love learning. I try to educate myself about the world around me. I'm like a sponge for knowledge, soaking up all the intellectual content. You know, history. The paranormal. <laughs> paranormal? I thought he said he liked learning. Wilderness survival and aliens. Oh dear, that's just a bit sad. Mm -hmm. So you watch the history channel too. <laughs> Uh, we're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. <laughs> help me, help me. I look over to Craig, he hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice in my body. Hey, remember when my fish died in college? Huff? No, I don't like this story. Oh, he's huffering. Oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. And we were at that party, and you vowed to make me feel better. You tell me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick keg stand and get everybody cheering. And then I try to steal a fish from a fish tank, and the party with my bare hands like an idiot Bro. and then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic so you run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground and you're telling you're yelling at me that we have to leave hey. so we're running out of a frat party with a fish and trying to give it mouth to mouth resuscitation I think they were drunk <laughs> and we get him home get him into a bowl of water but the prognosis was grim the next day he's alive and well. Hey. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. Uh, stories, hey? And they never will. He's huffing. Oh well. I shoot off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, hey. that hurts. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. I'm fantastic. I managed to stand up and rub my back. It doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Man's got to know his limits. I might call our gym adventure here. You sure? Yep. Hmm. We're out of here. All right, well, here, I bought you this. He bought me a thing. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of thick green liquid. Oh. <laughs> it's a protein shake, of course it is. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> he wants me to drink it. Oh boy, here goes. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Hey. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Bro. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we could try running around the neighborhood in... If treadmills aren't your speed, no pun intended, bruh. Good one. 
Well, I'm going to put some ice on this, everything, and see you around. I feel really tired after that gym workout. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me, literally. Man, I really got to work on this dead bond. <laughs> I get home, lie down on the couch, it hurts to move, oh god I'm so old. Eh. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep, what time is it? It's 3.55, I'm supposed to be at Manda's school in 5 minutes. Okay, this is meeting Mr. Vega. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant and run out the door. Eww. If you press these, those things are too quick. I arrive at Amanda's school. It's nicely delineated. Lots of perspective going on here. Look at all the perspective. Looks like something I drew. I feel pretty haggard after not brushing my teeth or showering, but hopefully nobody will notice. Yeah. Late youth. Youth. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? Whoa, it's a youth. Look at this youth. The youth turns around and looks me up and down with heavily blind eyes. <laughs> Do they let you in school like that, youth? Sigh. Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Hill. Mr. Vague. Ah. I don't know. Have you tried the exit? Little punk. Okay, wise guy. Are you gonna help me or not? Ah, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. What a con. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vague's class. Anyway, after a couple of minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk you sent me on a wild goose chase. Hey, it's him again. I get back to where that low rent Gerard Way is standing. Read. Ready. Fully ready to give him a piece of my mind when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Hmm? Lucian, don't you have third period to get to? <sighs> Fine, Mr. Vega. He's Mr. Vague. Oh. Now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. We're not cool. Hmm. <laughs> you must be last. <clears throat> this period is almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? I need to drink. <clears throat> All this reading. Ah, I haven't read this much in years. <clears throat> oh. Mr. Vega leads me in. And I take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. I guess they have comically small students in this school. I might get stuck in this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, where were we? Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Selinger's Capture in the Rye? I certainly mm. can't. <clears throat> Colin? There's nobody else in this class. Is Hugo a bit crazy? Colin! Colin! Colin does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Hmm. The whole class erupts in oh. laughter. Alright, 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 alright. Colin. Colin ah. is the class clown. He's an unreliable narrator in the sense that. Ring. Hey, what? Out of here. Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's mm -hmm. listening. Or not, I guess. <laughs> Kids these days, I mean, really. Mr. Veg turns to me and hmm. sighs. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schools? Eh. Both, you know, budget cuts. Right. Mm -hmm. That's so much for... Oh, thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Mr. Vague. Oh. Please call me Hugo. Uh. 
I don't normally do these impromptu parrot teacher meetings, but I'm sure you know Amanda's a very bright student and I'm concerned about her recent behaviour. Oh yeah, what's going on? Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares recently though she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk this up to senioritis, but this is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. <sighs> I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Dude's dead, dude. We just moved. She's fine. She's tended to bottle. We just moved. She has a tendency to bottle things up. I haven't noticed anything different about her, but she's always tends to put on a happy face no matter what. Oh. Do some parenting? <sighs> Man. This game's hard. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Mm. Anytime. I turn to Hugo. Hey! Ah. Hugo! Did they ever catch that rye? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Got the hearts. Dear, dear. Yeah, especially after we lost their father. I wonder if they looked down the back of the couch. Ben, the bus be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. Maybe I can talk to her about what's going on. Yeah. Interesting that the way home from school is the same as the way from their old house to the new house. <laughs> so did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about celebrity crushes. <laughs> so you talked about Mario Batali. It was a pretty, very productive meeting. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Let's go to the food court. That sounds like. Hmm. You just want to go to the mall? Hmm. hmm. Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Ah. You know. Sometimes when a kid gets older, they find they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, but sometimes it's good to have a parent's perspective because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Hmm. Passive. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Kitten shit! Anyway, that's what I was going to say. Good to share. Love you. Passive aggressive. Have you been reading my tweets? <laughs> you have Twitter? <laughs> eh? Never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vega said you haven't been participating in class and you're not turning things oh. in. Oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vega's class. Oh. It's fine. He's fine. She's still texting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Dad. Yes. You're so embarrassing. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. I heard Emma R's going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Mm -hmm. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's a... Uh, I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Yeah. Nope. Who's Noah? Who's Noah? Who's Noah? Who's Noah? Who's Noah? Your friend. Does he go to your school? Mm. Yep. Do you like Noah? Huh? <gasps> No, Dad. Uh, I can't believe you would. Dad. I mean, jeez. I think she likes Noah. She's still going. Sorry. Just ask him. Dad, he's just my friend. 
Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay. Jeez. This is going well. Well. Good talk. Love you, cuddle. Uh, to the mall. Oh, is he so good? Okay, I've got two complaints about this game. One, there's no volume control. And two, the little dead hints disappear way too quickly. What is it? The mall. Lowercase the, uppercase mall. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language, Missy. <laughs> English. Mm. Heck yeah. Helk. Go with Helk. Better. Mm. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. Bread dipped in sugar. Bread with cheese. So I just want to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? It would make me the happiest, cheery, cheesiest girl alive. Mm, nachos. Ugh. <laughs> we order a great giant pile of chips and unnatural orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic and probably stoned teenager. We take a seat at the rickety table and dig in. That nacho cheese sauce is just unholy. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. We have to eat through the pain. <laughs> we enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So, somebody's been... Something's been bothering me for a while. That's the internal voice. Can you explain memes to me? Oh wait. <laughs> Parent. Can you explain memes to me? Uh, which meme? All. All memes. Dad. Meme. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. It's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time the meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have pretty much done the joke. To youths? Capital Y youths. And what's worse is that movies and TV and video games will try to jump in on the meme and advertising. Yeah, we all know about this stuff. Oh shit, what up? He just complained about her saying hell and he's saying oh shit. Dad, please. Anyway, changing the subject. Where are you now? The goth store? What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being... I know exactly what he's talking about. Pretty sure they shut down. <laughs> you know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically assault on what people fought so hard against to the pump and hardcore movements of the Zimmies. Yeah. Those places are sad. That one. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty much like it too. <laughs> what is the name of that place? It's a whole, it's a chain. Uh, and that, it completely, completely escapes my head. There it is, you can still see the outline. Kinda. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> speech. <laughs> Amanda. Yeah. Speech, speech, speech. Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting. She stops. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda Ann Larson, clever, had t wait, clever, Lars Larson, yep, clever, had too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. Ah. After begging her father to take her to Dead Goth and Beyond <laughs> nice. to buy a rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over the display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. <laughs> I have that. Yeah, there's an effect on me too. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among her possessions. Thank oh. you. 
Amanda is moved. She begins clapping, slow at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. <laughs> oh, hey, chain wallets. Are they still a thing? <clears throat> Not much to look for. I like this dead Gotham beyond. It's... What's the name of the real place, though? Uh, I'm going to have to look that up later. The uh, Banjoots, ironic mugs, clearance bins for hot deals. Let's go for the deals. It's a big cardboard box of markdown items. I'm pretty sure $4 for Purple Islander is a good deal. Yeah, I don't think so. No, no, you're a ginger. Purple doesn't go with gingers. Look, this is very important to me, says a new person. Whoa, he, um... Hang on, hang on. I think he's escaped from the um, Japanese role-playing game that I don't play. It's not in the right game. An old gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored-looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian-inspired. However, when I received it, it's clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. <laughs> Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. I see. Well, it seemed to me that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails <laughs> trailing behind him. I can't tell if they're Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. <laughs> yeah, let's not meet that guy again. <coughs> oh, losing voice. A man who drops up to me with a t-shirt in the hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh no. Dadtron 5000. Yes, I will buy it for you. <laughs> that was easy, thanks. At least it's only one this time. I love your hair. Yeah. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up. Radiating hatred. I hand her a tweeny, a twenty. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I wonder where she'll pull something. That's Damien. <laughs> he was in here. He is in here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands to Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out to the store and head to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Huh. Oh cool. Long haul paranormal's ice road ghost truckers is on your favourite ride. Right? <laughs> uh, commercial television so sad. Oh hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also the hunting ghosts. Huh. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint Dogbone. Is that their name? The twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no. The ghost done got out of control of the truck. I can't steer on them their damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die! <sighs> okay, moving on. Mm. That's because we're about to die. This is art. The episode ends. Thank goodness for that. See ya. Bed, sleep. Dad, don't smoke. I can read that one. We're sleeping again. Okay. I'm about to lose my voice, so I think I'm going to stop right there. <clears throat> that was more like reading a book than playing a game. The options were few, and occasionally the options were only one, which isn't really an option at all. I'm hoping this little pink folder will save the game. Oh yeah, that's what it does. Save pink folder tittle return to the tittle screen oh I saved it 
So I'm hoping we can go. It's never too early to visit. These are the nice opening titles that you didn't get to see. So is that all of them? Have we met them all? I think we have. Oh, they disappeared already. I was going to talk about them. Come back. Daddy. Uh, for, yeah, eat plenty of carbs. That, they just disappear way too quickly. Anyway. It's okay if you don't come in first. Just make sure you have health. We've read that one already. Next. You're young. You have your health. Now it's time to take risks. Well, thanks for joining me on that little adventure. I guess I'll uh, see you next time, if there is a next time. Who's it going to be?